Hello students, I hope you all are fine, safe and at home. In today's lecture, we will learn about the topic Asexual Reproduction in the Unicellular Organism, Standard 10, Chapter 3. What is meant by reproduction? Reproduction is a process by which two organisms reproduce a particular new young one and that new young one is identical to their parents. So here in the reproduction, it is the best and the basic important characteristic property of the all living organisms. You know, all living organisms are having basic characteristic property which shows that this organism is whether living or the non-living. So reproduction is among that basic characteristic property of the living organism. In the living organism, male and female, both partners contribute their gametes. Normally, male gamete is known as sperm and female gamete is known as the egg. This combination of the gamete fuses with each other and forms a particular new young one. So, this is the sexual reproduction. But there is another type of reproduction, it is asexual reproduction. So, let's study about the asexual reproduction in the unicellular organisms. Okay, in the unicellular organisms. In unicellular organisms, in the asexual reproduction, there is no combination of the gametes. There is no combination of the gametes. Means there is no male and female partners. Here, male and female partners separately reproduces their same copies. Reproduces their same copies. Here, no gamete involved. And the new young one is similar to the reproducing organism. Remember permanently that in the asexual reproduction, Whatever the young one is reproduced, it is exactly similar to the reproducing organisms. Means if a male part, male partner is reproducing an organism, it will be similar to the male organism. And if the female organism is reproducing a organism, it will be identical to the female organism. Okay. But there is a drawback of the asexual reproduction that there is no genetic recombination because there is no fusion of gametes and that's why it is a drawback of the asexual reproduction. What? That is no recombination, that is no variety and the varieties of the generations, varieties of the species are produced. Still, it is a fast process of reproduction and that's why it is also important in the nature. Let's see the types of the asexual reproduction in the unicellular organisms. First of all, we will say about the binary fusion. Bi means to. Binary fusion. Fusion means to break. Fusion means to break. It is the opposite of fusion. Fusion means to attach and fusion means to break. So, it is the binary fusion means to divide into the two parts. Here, we will take the example of the amoeba. We all know that amoeba is an irregular shaped organism. So, in the simple binary fusion, it is the first type of binary fusion. In the simple binary fusion, that irregular shaped amoeba divides in any two non-similar parts and that is known as the daughter amoeba. They are known as the daughter amoeba. Means amoeba is the irregular shaped organism. It is divided into two any non-similar organisms and that is known as the daughter amoeba. So it is the simple binary fusion of the amoeba. Then the another subtype of binary fusion is the transverse binary fusion. It is known as the transverse binary fusion. Transverse binary fusion means uh, in the example, let us take the example of the paramecium. In paramecium, that paramecium is divided horizontally into two equal parts. It is divided horizontally into two equal parts. Both the cytoplasm and the nucleoplasm gets divided and they are produced as the two daughter organisms. That is known as the transverse paramecium. Then again there is a longitudinal reproduction. There is a third subtype of the binary fusion, longitudinal. Let us say, take an example of the euglena. Here, euglena is divided into longitudinal cut. Longitudinal cuts means in this type, longitudinal cut. This euglena divides vertically into two equal parts in a favorable condition. So, these are the subtypes of the binary fusion. The another type of the asexual reproduction in asexual organisms is multiple fusion. So what is mean by multiple fusion? Multiple fusion means to divide multiply in the multiple copies. To divide multiply in the multiple copies. In the particular organisms like amoeba, when there are no particular and favorable conditions for their survival, no, there are particular conditions for their survival, uh, here that amoeba stops their activity. That amoeba stops its activity and it gets 
a particular uh, stopped condition, pause condition, and then it the its cytoplasm produces a particular covering around its the body, and that particular rounded shaped organism is known as the cyst. It is known as the cyst. But the internal activities are carried out and the nucleus of that particular cysted amoeba is divides in the multiple copies and remain inside the cytoplasm and whenever there is a return of the favorable condition occurs that cyst burst out and the daughter amoeba are formed here we can see this is the simple parent amoeba then this amoeba is converted into cyst because of the unfavorable conditions then in this cyst the division of the nucleus go, goes on and after return of the favorable condition, this cyst burst and the daughter amoeba get released. So this is known as the multiple fusion. It is known as the multiple fusion. Then there is another type of asexual reproduction that is the budding. It is known as the budding. In budding, what happens? There is a yeast. We all know that there is a yeast cell. If a parent yeast cell is observed, after a 3 4 of its composition, 3 4 day of its decomposition, we will observe a particular bulge, means an protuberance, an extension of it, an extension of it, and that extension is known as the bulge. That extension is known as the bulge, means that extension is known as the bulge. This bulge further continues to grow and convert into the bird. In this condition, the cytoplasm and the nucleoplasm gets divide, divides. Slowly, slowly, that nucleus, that single nucleus divides into two parts and it separates into the bulge and the original parent body and slowly slowly that bulge converts into the new bird and gradually after some days the daughter yeast is formed and it is known as the budding. So these are the types of asexual reproduction. Okay.